It's time for reinforcements. You may simply know me as Logan Miss Prime, and welcome to y'all truly doing a reaction thing to My Hair Academia. Today, I'll be checking out uh, the OVA number two. It's titled The Training of the Dead, and honestly, I don't know nothing about this OVA. I looked up the poster, and all I see is like uh, Deku and Sue and a smiling Kowski fighting or looking at some weird guy. He's smiling too. Fuck. I know, very ambiguous. So I wonder if today's OVA is going to have a play in, of course, of Dawn of the Dead, you know, or Night of the Living Dead, you know, zombies, that kind of sort of thing. Maybe they're going to spoof off of that, or maybe even do something of the sorts. I mean, if they go in the direction of bringing dead people back, uh, I don't know, maybe? Is this, that? is this a Halloween special? What are they going to fight, Pumpkinhead? Go get candy and style? What the hell I'm talking about? It's crazy how blind I go into watching these shows. Like, I absolutely know nothing. And I think that's the best way to do it when you want to enjoy a show literally from scratch. So, all right, guys, without further ado, let's not dilly dally. Let's dive in and check out OVA number two, Training of the Dead. Oh, yeah. We're starting with Sue and she's introducing her family. <laughs> she's got a little brother and a little sister. We're a very froggy family. Her family was barely home, so she had to take care of her sisters. I mean, and brother, whatever. Siblings. <sighs> no offense, but Sue is definitely not my favorite character. I mean, she's very different. She's not your typical anime trope of a girl. She definitely feels that, like, girl next door kind of vibe. You know, she's like a froggy girl. What? You're get Whoa, what is she, a snake? Get away from us, Shimon! Oh my Jesus! Three second paralyzed clerk? Clerk? What? Clerk? What is wrong with you today? Maybe she's just like, I don't know, relates with you for looking funny. I mean, not that you look funny, but... What? Aww. She's like, who would want to be friends with a weird monster like me? Aww. Can I call you Su-chan? <laughs> she was a socially awkward girl. I mean, have we seen the little snake girl before? I wonder if we have. Is she in class B? Maybe? I don't know. Alright. I wonder what little snake lady has to do with this damn OVA. Oh my god, look at Minata. <laughs> so this is taking place after the internship in season two. Four hero class students from a high school? Joining a special guest? Minata's freaking impressed with her because she got glasses. Perk. <gasps> Whoa. Look at, look at Aisawa. Kashiko Sakaki? I don't know. The Don to Don? Oh, that guy looks happy. <laughs> what? Kaki was interested in that. Oh, look, snake person! Woo! It all ties together, yay! He calls her Mongoose? <laughs> Why did Kasuke get so bad? Why did he get so mad? <laughs> I said some rivalry. <laughs> uh, who wouldn't feel uneasy next to freaking Momo? Look at her! Damn! Shit! Put us shirt! <laughs> oh my god, just get along! What does he call him? Is it shits? He calls him I I is a I don't know. Oh, look at little chunky dude. Why are you not dressed yet? Is that all might? Oh not that he needed to be another special guest, but Whoa, look at little 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 ch 
Chunky Dude, that's his outfit? Interesting. Oh, look at his smile. Battle Royale? Is that what they're gonna do? So a team of four? And there's only one objective, is to survive. To run or to fight, anything goes. Oh, they gotta capture them with the bait. So it's like the show. They've done this sort of before. <gasps> oh! Picking at random! How come Kasuki's over to Kirishima? <laughs> oh! My god! <laughs> Dude, you have it so easy, Deku! You got the baby girls! <laughs> yeah, Sitting tight is, is a good plan, but not out in the open like that. How about a snack? <laughs> Why not hide up up in the trees or something? Oh, so look at that. All of them are sitting tight. They're not even moving. So they're plotting to do something else. Oh my god, that's Koski, isn't that? How <laughs> crush them all. My guy! Oh my god, this is like the easiest team we can be. Oh my god, never mind, look at Sparkle Dick! Holy crap! And Minata! I take that back! You, you see that, Koski? That's called Teamwork! Oh, he hurt Jiro. Then again, he's a one man wrecking team! Holy fuck! Did they destroy them? <laughs> He did that all by himself! Oh my god, the boss! Alright, no, no, this is a nice fight. Hemi Tokoyami and Ida? Come on, there's just. Oh! No way! He thought that ahead? No fucking way! Oh, come on! Tokoyami, you disappointed me. Oh, look at them. They're ready for him. He has to explode? Oh, he's got rockets? Whoa! So much for hanging out and having a picnic. God, this feels like a like a real episode. It, it's so good! You should use real missiles, my guy. Oh my god, you walked into the wrong neighborhood! <laughs> Whoa, what kind of quirk does he have? Oh, I heard paralysis, Medusa. Kind of, what did Koski do? He jumped? And he didn't look at her, what? He... How did he know that, what? Whoa. Uh oh. What does the smoke do? Oh my god, what does the smoke do? Come on, jump up in the tree, so stud. Okay, look, Deku and Team Squad. It's okay. <laughs> I saw what said to stop the fight, or the training. But All Might said, no, this is good. It is survival training, right? So... Alright, Todoroki's fine too. I, I wonder what his gas does to people. Oh, we're about to find out. That's definitely Koski. Oh, that's everybody else. <laughs> what? His gas turns him into all zombies looking... Zombie virus? That's kind of dangerous, isn't it? <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> yeah, touche. How is this a hero quirk? Look at that game! He's not doing a thumbnail! I love that! Ah, oh, look at poor Momo! <laughs> is still fighting? Is he still fighting through the zombie? He's, he's infected already! Oh my god, you're the worst! How are you getting infected by your own virus? Okay, that's easy, Todoroki can stop them. Ah, uh, don't give me that shit! How'd you get caught? You are truly such a background character. Wait, how did Invisible Girl get infected? You're freaking invisible! <laughs> oh, 
Oh my god, you goddamn perv. Sue, really? How did you trip? What? <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> Do you remember me even as a zombie? <laughs> oh my god! Look at how Yama, where did he come from? Oh my god, no. If all my gets infected. Wait, they don't. <laughs> they don't even. All oh, right, they don't even know all my s human form. He's about to get infected. They. What? They don't want him? Oh my god, they think he's already a zombie. Wow, that's a bad joke. So would this mean that Deku's team won? Because there's three of them, and there's only one person in Todoroki's team, so... Mm. Then again, they did say last team to survive wins, so... All they have to do is just put the tape on Todoroki. Uh, Oshaku says, how does a hero escape zombie movies? Easily. Through a helicopter. Every time. <laughs> Oh my god, she's using Minotetsu for the eyes! Why do they know they were there? Come on. He's willing to hit them? Oh god, you're gonna hurt your friends! I don't really know what this frontal attack is going to do. Oh! They're better now? What? They're normal after you blew them away? <laughs> <laughs> Look at I saw yo, he's the traitor, man. He didn't do nothing. Just let them fight. Look how hurt everybody got. Freaking <laughs> Koski sent him to the hospital? God damn, this kid is so careless. Okay, that was um and okay, <laughs> in OVA, uh, it didn't blew my mind, it wasn't extremely awesome or anything like that. It felt like a regular episode that could have been put in Season 2 somewhere. Pretty much this OVA is about the kids returning back to class after their internship uh, back in Season 2. You know, that's the time when Deku uh, left to hang out with Gran Torino, Koski was with Genus, you know, and so on and so forth. So the kids come back thinking, oh, it's just gonna be an ordinary day in class, but nope. They got some training to do. This uh, special training is, or this special activity, is a survivor course kind of training. Broken down into six groups of four. They didn't really specify whether or not the kids got to choose their own partners, but it, that really didn't matter. The other cool thing is that we got introduced to four new characters. These four new characters come from a uh, nearby hero school. We pretty much in the contest, in order to win, it's just to survive. Decide to fight an enemy or one of the groups. Uh, once you defeat them, you gotta tie them up with a certain tape, and yeah, they're like eliminated. So the last team to not be eliminated wins. Koski goes all full Rambo mode, and he decides to fight just about everyone. One of those kids from that nearby a hero school is named Romero Fujimi. It didn't even dawn on me before, but yeah, Romero, you know, like George A. Romero from like, you know, The Return of the Living Dead. So I guess that's the play on there. So apparently this kid's quirk is that he can... I don't know. He can shoot out a pink gas, and anyone who breathes in this pink gas gets turned into a zombie. Parents wise, mentality wise, where they go with, oh, I want a brain. <laughs> if they were to bite someone else, they'll get infected as well. So, yeah, he pretty much turns people into freaking walking zombies. The only downside to his own ability is that even the user. If he were to breathe in his own quirk, he gets turned into a zombie. Some shenanigans later, and then, you know, all the kids get turned back to normal. They didn't really specify whether there was, like, a time limit. Maybe after a few minutes, they, you know, the whole zombie fight thing goes away. And I'm sure that's probably what happened. And that was pretty much the episode. It, it just... It was cute. It was okay. Nothing... That... Special or memorable, honestly. The one thing... I will take away from this OVA is that we got to meet another character. We got to meet Habuko Mongoose. She's the only new character out of this OVA that is considered canon. 
Everybody else doesn't really matter. And we got a little quick origin to her story in today's episode where she, you know, related to Sue or like see Sue as like her equivalent, you know, like of course Sue looks like a frog and she doesn't look that normal to, you know, society standards. Mind you, this girl has a snake for a face. Who wants to be friends with that or in today's society standards? So the whole concept of uh, who's the traitor, what if this girl's the traitor? What if she's working with the enemy because she wants to look human again? Yeah, food for thought, huh? Huh? Maybe, I don't know. But alright guys, that about wraps up today's episode. Thank you so much for watching. What are your thoughts and opinions on today's OVA? To me personally, I... Eh, it was okay. Make sure you leave me any positive or negative feedback down in that comment section. Feel free to like this video, subscribe to my channel, I appreciate it if you do. And as always, God bless, keep peaceful, enjoy the rest of your day. Bye-bye.